Yo, what's going on guys? Some of us here getting today for another video. And before getting today's topic, I'll be telling you the gameplay is by me. Yes, I have my own gameplay now. Yes, thank God, guys. So I've been playing the Black Ops 3 beta. I only played about six games, and that's because there was an issue yesterday. And I want to tell you guys about that real quick before we actually tell you about anything else. And that is because Xbox One wants to be a little piece of shit. So Treyarch is, you know, some racist people. They like to, you know, make PlayStation a lot better now. They're like, okay, let's have it down pat. Let's have it where you can actually put in the code and actually make the game work for PlayStation. No, Xbox One, you couldn't even put in your own codes. About half the people, I was in an entire party of seven fucking people. Seven people, and none of us could get our codes to work till midnight. Till about midnight is when we got to be able to actually play. Because first off, they, um, they tweeted out on their Twitter like, oh, everything's going smooth. Yeah, it just went up and everything. Like an hour later, they're like, we just tracked some issues with codes not working. Like what happened is none of our codes worked. And what ended up having to happen is like uh, about like 10 o'clock or something they tweeted out saying Xbox support is on the issue and stuff and they never did anything whatsoever. One of the people in the rush chat actually ended up, you know, uh, tweeting something out and saying that uh, he found a solution. And what you had to go do is you had to get on Xbox.com, sign in, go to redeem code, and you had to change your country to Brazil. You had to change your country to Brazil and enter the code doing that. What in the world? Out of all... All the countries and everything, you just had to change your country to Brazil and enter the code and it will work after that. That makes no sense whatsoever. Like, I don't understand what Treyarch or Xbox or anything could have been doing. Like, how do they even have this issue? Like, we already had it out on the PlayStation. They got all that fixed. They shouldn't have these issues once it comes out on Xbox. It doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever, guys. So, after waiting from 6 p.m. to all the way, all the way till midnight, I was able to play till about 1.30 before where I just couldn't play anymore. So I pl ended up playing six matches in that entire time. That's ridiculous. That I only got to be able to play six matches out of waiting the entire day. I was sitting there from 6 p.m. I should have played at least like 20 matches or something like that. So it's ridiculous. But so far, the game seems pretty interesting. Uh, I like the looks of it. The graphics are really nice. The maps so far look pretty nice. Evac look reminds me of like a map from Ghost, though. It really does look like it's got the whole like really dull color scheme and everything and it just looks like something from ghost to be honest but other than that the other maps are pretty colorful they're pretty nice looking but i'm not so sure about the movement in black ops 3 people are saying it feels so fluid so nice i don't i don't know if it's because they didn't play advanced warfare that long and they've been playing black ops 2 and switched to black ops 3 from playing black ops 2 but go from going from advanced warfare to going to black ops 3 you feel so clunky like my character just doesn't feel like he's going that uh, like fluid like i know you're not supposed to have like extremely high jumps or anything but when he double jumps it's like an inch off the ground and everything and it just feels so clunky like it feels like you have the movement system of advanced warfare but you don't have like the double jumping ability or it, it's not as fast paced it feels extremely slow paced in some of the matches i love the like fast pacedness of you know advanced warfare and stuff because some of the maps are a little bit larger and have like little areas here and there that nobody goes to and if you're exploring around and you know you only only have a few people in the lobby then you never end up going anywhere everyone's like you know, like split up everywhere and you never end up finding anyone you do find people a lot often if you get a good lobby where everybody's just running down the same exact path then you know it gets fast paced and everything but some of the maps are so wide that you know if not everyone is just running to the same place you're not finding anywhere like I was, I was having team death matches where they got down to like last minute before we ended up you know finishing it, it was pretty ridiculous to be honest but other than that, I think the weapons kind of feel okay. I like how balanced they feel and everything, and all the specialist abilities and everything like that. I love all the stuff they added to it, and the, it, the graphics are really nice and everything. I just find it feels kind of like clunky and everything. The maps kind of feel like they're like a little bit bigger than Black Ops 2 maps, but don't have the speed of like ad, like Advanced Warfare to them. Like they're Advanced Warfare size maps, but you don't have speed like the speed to them so you can't get around the map as quickly so some of the games end up being kind of slow paced i find some of the games are really fast paced though so it's really just strange uh they'll probably fix all this stuff after the beta is out i'm you know i'm predicting that's gonna happen like the black ops 3 game it looks like it's gonna be extremely good once they fix all of this stuff like on the beta and everything i think it's gonna become a lot better than what you know it actually is in the beta because i, I think it just feels really slow paced in some of these matches they'll you know they'll find ways to balance it out and figure all this stuff out and everything 
but other than that I don't really have much else to talk about it's just it, it's like an okay game I have some issues with it I have some things I like about it and everything but um that's gonna be the end of this video so if you guys did enjoy make sure to leave a like comment down below if you guys uh, are think any of these same ways or anything like that and subscribe if you haven't already this has been Samuel Frost and peace